Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This time, we're going to be taking a look at a game that has sort of been heavily requested by Jimmy Fails. I think if I say heavily requested, that's probably a bit of an exaggeration, but it's one that we've um, spoken about in the past, and uh, it's definitely overdue for a look at anyway. So what is Haze? Well... <sighs> Hayes was <laughs> Hayes is a first person shooter created exclusively for the PlayStation 3. However, that was not always supposed to be the case. Uh, it's made by Free Radical Design, who produced the wonderful Time Splitters series. Um, so <sighs> as you could imagine, back in the day, people were rather excited um, for this game. It was touted constantly before the game even shipped or very early on, shall we say, as Sony's Halo killer. Uh, and how did that turn out? <sighs> well, not very well, <laughs> shall we say. Uh, this is a game that I've always wanted to play. I think I picked this game up for about a pound a couple of years ago and it's been sitting on my shelf it came out very early in the PlayStation 3's life. I believe it was originally announced in 2006, which is the year the PS3 actually came out. It was supposed to be finished and released in 2007. You're seeing a problem, one year development cycle, on a brand new console that has the most complicated architecture in history. Mm hmm, mm hmm, yes, 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 what could go wrong? Uh, but eventually it actually dropped in 2008 and it bombed. Shocker, right? In fact, it actually torpedoed the company and sadly Free Radical's um, amazing um, reign was kind of torpedoed by this game. Now, originally this game was supposed to come out for Xbox 360 and PC. But because of the hellish squeeze um, that they had and only having a year, they actually cancelled the 360 version and they cancelled the PC version. Um, why they actually picked the PlayStation 3 is kind of a mystery. Because if you remember, if you were in the uh, console scene back in 2008, you will know that the 360 was wiping the floor with the PlayStation 3, and so was the well, Nintendo Wii, for that matter. The PS3 got off to a terrible, terrible start, and even to this day, it's still the black sheep of the PlayStation family. So the PS3's garbage, right? Well, no. Actually, the PS3 did actually, uh, you know, in around 2009, 2010, start kicking it up a gear and became quite a nice little machine to have under your TV. But there were certainly some rocky, rocky foundations in those first few years. Um, now, the 360 was selling like hotcakes. Imagine that, an Xbox on top. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. It, it, it happened, folks. It, it really did. <laughs> Obviously, it didn't last, but, you know, Microsoft kind of torpedoed themselves. So, this is a first-person shooter. It is futuristic. The story premise for this game is actually quite interesting. We play as a jacked-up, futuristic, mercenary soldier, which I believe you're working with a PMC. Uh, and you're, you've been sent in to take out a load of terrorists. And we are the, you know, good guys jacked up on a drug called Haze, which alters our perception of reality. Hmm. We sure we're the good guys? Anyway, this game is supposed to tackle themes um, like propaganda, the horrors of war, which... It was an interesting and rather unique at the time angle to take and it was kind of in like kind of brave of um, Free Radical to design this game this way and I think actually if it had been executed a little bit better it would have been more fondly remembered now <sighs> there was another game that did this and its name escapes me one second 
How silly of me. It is Spec Ops The Line. Yes, Spec Ops The Line actually covered a very similar kind of story thread and was a much superior game. Although I thought the gameplay of Spec Ops The Line wasn't too much to write home about. It wasn't bad, it was fine. Um, but the actual story and the psychology that you go through in that game was superb. And this game is kind of going for that sort of angle, but it kind of fell flat. So this game, it's set in a dystopian future where players assume the role of Shane Carpenter, a 25-year-old soldier working for the Mantle Corporation. You know we're the good guys because we're working with an evil um, <clears throat> a dystopian corporation. So... The, the narrative explores themes of war and the effects of performance-enhancing drugs in this game called Nectar. Hayes was Free Radicals Designs attempted a more story-driven, single-player-focused game, uh, contrasting with their previous multiplayer-heavy titles like Time Splitters series. An interesting marketing move for Hayes was its affiliation with the band Korn. Ah, I, yeah, I, I forgot about that. Yes, uh, Korn was quite heavily... Um, in their promotional material and I think they did some of the music for one of the trailers as well which led to a popular internet meme related to the game I don't think I remember that but curious the game features a 4 player co-op option for the story and 16 player multiplayer component offering different abilities for the mantle and rebel units yeah so two factions in this game uh, you've got us Mantle guys, and then you have the terrorists, and they do play, from what I understand, quite differently. Obviously, the Mantle guys are jacked up on drugs and very strong, very fast. We have these, like, powered, you know, suits and things. The Rebels don't have that. <laughs> They've got some other tricks up their sleeve, which, from what I can remember, basically boil down to the fact that you can, you can play dead. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can pretend to die so the enemies walk past you. Uh, from what I also remember from reviews at the time, this this kind of feign death <laughs> mechanic doesn't really work very well. Shocking, right? Um, so, Hayes received mixed reviews upon release, with some praising the game's concept and others criticizing various aspects of its execution. It remains a unique title in the PS3's library for its ambitious narrative and gameplay mechanics. So yeah, this game did certainly have a lot of promise. Um, so we also have a little bit more history. Hayes is a first person shooter game video game developed by Free Radical. Yeah, we know that. It was published by Ubisoft and from what I can remember, Good old Ubisoft actually meddled quite a lot in the development um, because they actually asked for a few weeks before, a few extra weeks before the game was released. Now, Ubisoft actually granted them like a few extra re uh, weeks to polish up some bugs and issues that they found, but, but this was a monkey's paw situation because they were said they could have the time to polish the game up, but only if they scramble and add a co-op component to the game. Are you seeing a problem here? Because I am, and I am seeing another problem here as well. I have a large ginger boy looking at me. Come on, you furry turd. Off you go. Good boy. Um, so I only actually played the demo of this game back in the day. Uh, because I was actually really quite excited for this. I was I was certainly in, in you know, supping the Kool-Aid. Leo, you're not helping this. Uh, supping the Kool-Aid pretty, pretty hard. And I remember I downloaded and played the demo and was interest, <laughs> my interest kind of fizzled away. Um, so it was released worldwide in May of 2008. So early 2008, no less. The game was initially planned to be released on Xbox 360 and Microsoft Windows as well, but these versions were ultimately cancelled. Yes, and the reason they were cancelled was just they had no time. So anyway, before the cat bothering continues too much, let's continue. Let's dive into Haze. Is it as bad as I remember. I'm going to give this game a fair shake. I'm going to be honest. I'm not just going to rag on it because the game's apparently bad. Let's get a feel for the controls, feel for the mechanics, 
is there anything here that can be enjoyed? Let's have a look. Whilst my cat jumps up again. There we go. I was going to say, I didn't know whether the cat had pushed a button there and ruined the recording, but it looks like it's okay. So, Hayes, I don't know if this is one of those PlayStation 3 games that has a lengthy install. <coughs> Metal Gear Solid, I'm looking at you. Game saves data automatically at certain points. Do not turn off the PlayStation 3. What's the hard drive? Oh, hard drives. Remember those? Yes. Okay. Also, I'm at a disadvantage as soon as I pick up the uh, DualShock 3. I always forget how tiny and toy-like this controller is. Um, I have very large hands. I've mentioned this before. Uh, at work, I use the largest size gloves that we have, and sometimes that can be a little bit tight, depending on the manufacturer. That's what she said. And, yeah, picking up the PS3 controller, uh, it's just like picking up a little children's toy i don't like, i know some people like it and that's fine that's fair but i don't i am going to be investing in the retro fighters defender um at some point anyway well, let's go it's a very kind of dull the name is shane carpenter start screen as one of mantle's most elite soldiers i was trained to handle anything built to fight the good fight I think that's another mechanic the rebels have. They can run up and take the guns out of the mantle soldier's hands. A good fight. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought until the day I broke away from Mantle. Their lies, their nectar. That day, I changed sides. That's interesting. The game straight up spoils the biggest twist in the intro. Ha. Huh. Didn't expect that. Doing anything? Today I am reborn. Now it's time to set things right. So straight off, that is utterly bizarre. They really do that to us. They just ruin the fact straight away that we start off as one faction and we convert to the other side. Really? Oh, God. I was afraid of this. Yeah. Very, very curious. I mean, the gameplay from that um, roll call looked okay. Uh, the does look like there's some serious performance issues there, but that's to be expected because, A, this is an early PlayStation 3 game. B, it was made in a little over a year. And on top of that, another little detail... They had to create a brand new engine in that time as well, which is something that I did have in my notes, but I forgot to put in there. So yeah, they had about 18 months to produce the game, a brand new engine, and work out how the fuck to produce a game for the PlayStation 3. Yeah, again, we're getting, you know, there's not many green flags here, is there? Anyway, I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, so roughly seven minutes later, yes that long hopefully we can actually get to play the game there were a fair few ps3 games that did this back in the day the latest update uh, are you serious 
Wait, the latest update data for the software has been found. To sign in and use this software, you must update the software to the latest version. The system will quit the software and start. And s what software update? I am on the latest software because I updated before I put the disc in. <sighs> One second, guys. This is why I've never been a fan of the PS3. 360 games, you put them in, close the uh, disk drive, and um, uh, yeah, it, it, off you go. <sighs> at least this update is going quick, at least. But then I suppose this is just a download. Then we've got to install it. So, great game so far. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. I remember when 66 megabyte was a monumental amount of data to install. Right, can we play the game now? We may never know. Okay, well at least it's also launching the game again, so props for that, I guess. Right, and now we get back to the start of the game again. This game saved, yeah, okay. Any danger of playing this now, or, or do we have more updates to do? more installation <gasps> and there's the stamp of death itself ubisoft right okay so this has taken about 10 minutes in total uh, from oh. we don't need to use the network okay i'm just saying this game's been dead for 20 years don't now, if this comes back and... Oh, look at that! Connection to Demonware failed. Please try again later. All of that nonsense and we can't even connect to the server because it's down. Anyway. Right. So, we have a very basic looking menu here. But, you know, it does a job. Uh, let's just dive straight into campaign. Single player campaign. Continue. <laughs> I was going to say... You cannot continue the campaign since there's no checkpoint saved. So why give me the option? Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing well here, folks. So start a new Haze campaign. Okay. <laughs> so, easy. You've got no guts, soldier. Normal. You've got some guts. Hard. Your guts will be spilt all over the floor. And you need to complete Haze campaign uh, to unlock this difficulty section. All right, well, let's just go normal. Fight the good fight. The world needs heroes like you. Those who can stand tall in the face of evil by joining Mantle. You have taken a bold step towards a better world. Thanks to you, dictators like Skin Coat have something to fear. The world is proud of you. Yay! I always knew I was going to do big things. So, I guess the guy we're going after is called Skin Coat. It's a delectable no name. We're 19 minutes into this video and we haven't played the game yet. <clears throat> yes, we've seen this logo 60,000 times now. Can we shoot someone? My name is Shane Carpenter. I was born into a world of war. I was born into a world where unless someone makes things right, They'll never be right. <laughs> ten out of ten writing. In twenty twenty three. Feeling good, buddy? You look psyched, hell, you look so good, I wish I was you. It's gonna be a fun day. Uh, You're at the top of the world today. There's views there that would put your imagination to shame. Come on, Pam. We're late. Later than uh I can't think of nothing, man, but we're super late. Come on. Sir, was it a good transfer? You looked pretty beat last night, but we're going to get you fixed up and ready to move, buddy. Don't you worry. Thanks, sir. Sir, buddy, we're both sergeants. You don't have to call me anything but my name. I'm Morgan Deval. This is Corporal Pesci. Hi there, sir. 
Lance Corporal Tear. Good morning, sir. And we called this one Watch Trap. <laughs> they say that because I'm skinny, see? <laughs> like a watch trap, sir. Yeah, pack slugger, sir. Let me give you a hand. Hope you like that track as much as I did. Not These are very friendly soldiers. It on the front line. Just to let you know that we're all rooting for you. And we're looking forward to seeing the boys back from the Boa region real soon. Crazy stuff happening out there in Boa. Ethnic cleansing, skinning people. Crazy. Skinning people? Right. Nothing you can't handle. Heads up, my boys. It's that time again. Sure is better than coffee and a slap in the face. <laughs> I'm so ready to liberate the nation. Hell yeah! Uh, um. Yeah, I would say the writing certainly leaves something to be desired there. Uh, I mean, visually the game's fine for what you'd expect for this sort of like era. Uh, that writing was actually embarrassing. I don't know whether that was by design. These guys seem <clears throat> very friendly, and I'm pretty sure he reached out and touched something then. I don't think it was my pack, because I would assume my pack was on my back. Or maybe I'm just thinking, unless he means one of these packs. What's cooking, boys? Hey, Sergeant Carpendale, what's up? Me and my crew here are rolling with you today. You got me, you got Gilroy, and you got Wood. <laughs> got Wood. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we are ready to get settled, sir. <laughs> observatory today. The sun is shining and it's a great day to open a six pack of... Check it out! Well, we're having a good time. But all good times Take must come to an end. Care. I that nectar shipment. Everybody mount up and move out. The party's coming with us, boys. I so we need to go get our nectar. You've been getting your meds? Uh, I'm I'm fine. You crazy son of a bitch. You trying to get us all killed? I'm fine. Morgan, I, I think he's okay. You're okay, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Look at me. You're not fine. You're not on this dropship, and you're not on this mission. Go park your ass in your bunk. I'll deal with this when we get back. Well, he's not taking his meds? Take like, what? What's going on? You're lucky I've got your back, Carpenter. You don't want a liability in the field. Believe me, buddy. Up and at him! Oh, I believe you. Well, I mean, I'm pumped. I'm excited. I feel like I'm going on a school trip. Are we getting sourced? No beer? <laughs> oh. There's no poison in my tea. Sir. There's no poison. What the hell was that? That's a weird transition. So there's no poison in our tea. We're not drinking beer. We're just huffing the fumes of this nectar stuff. Um. Yes, sir. A toast to freeing some hearts and minds. To freeing this country that the Lord forgot about. Mm. While he's away, let's go through his housekeeping. The God hearts and minds. <laughs> okay. I, are we just drinking water or are we drinking nectar? Oh. We're coming. Listen, buddy. You know how it is. I don't mean to sound hard on tear, but I need to keep my guys safe so we can do our job. I want to keep you safe, too. I want us all sitting around the table for Thanksgiving. Proud of what we did for these people. Uh, okay. Base one, this is fight, fight, Bless fight, him. Actual. I've got a man on He's explaining Let's himself to us. Please take care of him. I got the 
Okay. So he's not that angry anymore. Okay, so these guys are not professionals in any sense of the word. They seem like they're just a load of kids. All right, let's go kill some guys. Wow, I like the the weapon feels cool. Whoa, holy shit. Oh, we're getting some kind of bombardment coming in, which is nice. Whoa. Well, uh, yeah, this is a great way to do tutorial. Just can just pause the combat halfway through. Welcome to Mantle Nectar Tutorial 101. This tutorial will keep you uh, will help you understand how to use nectar. Nah. Uh -huh. You couldn't move this along any quicker, could we? Nectar is a revolutionary bio-enhanced medication developed by Mantle Global Industries. It will help you fight smarter, faster, and stronger than the enemy. Uh-huh. The Barty... All this shit that we've just had, like walking around and sitting in a ship, getting to this location, they couldn't have explained all of this before that. You know? They need to drop you in and mid discharge of the weapon, they then kick in with this. The bar to your left is your nectar gauge. This indicates the amount of nectar in your bloodstream. Uh huh. To administer a dose of nectar, push and hold L2. Uh huh. Right. Fill your nectar gauge all the way to the top for a full dose, but careful not to overfill it. Safety first. Okay. So do we get that weird... Oh, right. So I guess we've got to hold the button down. We will get to some gameplay at some point, guys. There we go. You can carry up to six doses of nectar. These will replenish over time. I, Mantle Global Industries hopes you enjoy using nectar, but remember, don't overfill the gauge. Oh shit, and then just throw me straight back in with no warning. That's cool. Yeah, we like that. Alright, so, we've got a nice little zoom. So, oh you, well that was <laughs> stupid. Alright. All right, let's keep the uh, nectar administration going. We want to make sure we're always drugged up to the best of our ability. Oh, woo. these guys aren't very good at avoiding our fire, are they? So reload is on the triangle. You know, the game runs okay. It actually don't look great, though. It looks well enough, but just not, not great. It's not like it looks bad or anything. All right, let's keep going. Not sure how I feel about the nectar mechanic. It's interesting. I don't hate it so far. Right, I don't know how often it takes the nectar to recharge, but we are going through it pretty quick. Right, so we don't have to. Watch your step, buddy. The satellite says you're coming up on a valley packed full of bad guys. I Give me a minute to clear them out. Space, this is 555 Actual. Multiple hostile contacts. I need to burn on the half mile basin 80 yards north of my position. Pronto. The burn is inbound. Hunker down, boys. Huh. So we don't have to continuously keep huffing the nectar. I thought you was over here. That's interesting. So we can collect the Lobo. Ooh. That's a nice gun. So that's the Lobo. That yeah, feels right. Cool. Right, let's keep going, gentlemen. Let's keep this slaughter. Oh, they're above us. I see. How did I miss him? Obviously not dipping into the old nectar enough. There we go. Keep huffing the good stuff, lad. Mm -hmm. 
Well, they nuked that. So I'm guessing this Mantle Corporation like owns the world or something. Or at least, you know, the US kind of territories. You're not kidding. Yeah, don't hate it. Don't hate the mechanic. It's kind of silly. Actually, the more I look at this game visually, the more it, it's not good. But, you know, we're talking a game that's 20 years old. Now, what's interesting is it doesn't... Ooh, nice. It doesn't play. It doesn't play or feel like time splitters at all. I've already tried it, kind of. Killing these terrorist fools. Eh? Huh? How do you think of them? Uh oh, we're out. What do you think of that? I like drugs. Oh, hey friend. Are you on your drugs too? There we go. Some liberty for you. Little liberty for you. Ah, oh, Sad noises. There we go. Carpenter, watch your status. I'm getting there. You think the pilot can hold out long enough for us to get to the crash site? Almost out of ammo. Really? I thought we'd doing all right. Okay, well, let's keep spreading liberty and freedom, one bullet at a time. Ah, it's quiet, too quiet. Might have to get dosed up. Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not hating this. Like, you know, so far it's fine. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it feels very generic. I think the nectar mechanic is kind of keeping me going. So this is what our air support did. <laughs> yeah, I think the writing is just... It's basically embarrassing. Uh, we're at that sort of level now. I don't know whether that's by design. Uh, can we have like subtitles or something? We can tweak up the speech, maybe. Ah, we can have subtitles. Which is interesting. That wasn't necessarily um, a guarantee back in the day. Yes, let's have some subtitles. Whoa, nectar disruption. That wasn't bad. Uh, that wasn't good, I should say. I wonder, gee, I wonder if this nectar has some kind of crazy side effects. The game runs reasonably smooth as well, which is nice to see. Yeah, a lot of PlayStation 3 games, especially early ones, just did not run very well at all. But yeah, this this seems decently smooth so far. You having a good time there, buddy? Someone's having a good time. I mean, we've opened our helmet for some reason. Not sure how smart that is. You guys okay? We're fine. You sure? Yeah. Why? That screaming. Just an animal. Just an animal. Yeah, I, I heard you. How far are we from the site? Not far. Push up. We'll see you there. <sighs> then we can get to Chow. <laughs> sure. You know what? That sounds good. Wonder what we eat these days. Nectar's sophisticated compounds help your body repair and increase resistance to injury, making you tougher whilst using it. Ah, kind of like alcohol then. 
unless I've been lied to. If he's still alive. Oh, hey. Let's get dosed up. We could use some more ammo, in all fairness, for our other weapon. Evening. Might need to get another dose in the old bloodstream. Drugs win wars, kids. This gun is accurate as well, which I like. Yeah, these oh, these modern futuristic guns should be accurate. Yeah, fuck food. We want drugs. Oh wow, there's a few of them. Right, where are you? No running, kids. Oh, you stupid! Your men do run in in the way of your shots a lot, and I'm pretty sure that's not by design. And I think there's a mechanic where if you stay close to your men, I think we're getting drugged up. I'm not 100% sure how that's working because I'm not using the nectar, but we are filling our meter. I'm guessing that's that nectar transfer thing in full effect. There we go. Eat shit and die. Yeah, you might be. It's unlikely, though. Now, the sound design's very good as well. I like, I like the way the... Oh, yeah. There's actually a, a reason that the bodies disappear as well. And that's because you can't see these sort of things when you're hoofed up on nectar. Aha. Uh, this machine gun blows. This machine gun really blows. Um, dude, he's gone mad. So if you OD on nectar, you kind of lose the plot a little bit. Yeah, not a fan of this machine gun. Sherman has been killed in action. Yeah, good. All right, can we get off the gun, please? Thank you. So the gun turret kind of blows chunks. I think he's dead. All right, let's go. So, I wonder why they've taken all the nectar. Are they using it as well? I mean, we've been trying. We're going to continue to kill. Oh, hey. Whoa, what the hell? That's weird. Kept going all fuzzy and I couldn't control <laughs> the stick. That was, that was curious. Right, come on, buddy. Let's get you out of here. You alright, buddy? You good? Looks like you open a can on these guys. If they stole our nectar, man, so what's the point? They got away with the nectar. Still, you might as well check on the pilot. Well, I kind of standing right next to the pilot. Hey. I'm here. Hey. Hey. I'm here. Are you hurt? see you. Do you know what I used to do before I joined up? Don't worry about that. You can tell me later. I, I, was, I was a boxer. Uh-huh. Semi-pro. Uh, uh. I then. Shut me 
up another one. Administering. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Well, I guess our friend is dead. Uh huh. Forty-five one actual requesting evac ASAP. Copy that four five one ETA four minutes. Just make sure there's a calm spot for touchdown. Okay, guys, let's clear the area. Clear the area? Looks pretty clear to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you get newbie nerves, man. <laughs> newbie nerves. Clear him out. Right, let's go. Well, a nice little, um, oh god, a nice little easter egg here, although it's not really an easter egg, is the fact that the pilot's body has disappeared. <laughs> Sticking boots up asses. Alright, sounds like a fun time. Okay, so that is not us. That is the, uh, bad faction. Still, I'm enjoying the weapons. I think this uh, right. Look, you can you get out of my way, you retard? All right, we're done. I think. Are we done? Nope. There's some more firing over here. So sometimes the game just seems to administer nectar on its own. Yeah, I think the uh, weapons, the two rifles, are way too similar. Oh, we're getting some frame rate issues there. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Who's fucking next? Kill them all, huh? Oh, what the hell? They're just kind of all looking in the wrong direction. That was fun. Idiots. Yeah, the Lobo is very similar to the uh, weapon that we started with. Oh, hi, guys. Yeah, it's got this weird problem. Like, when you start getting shot, you kind of lose control of how to, you know, of the uh, aiming reticle. Which is a bit strange. Alright, let's go and ease. Get out of here, I guess. Yeah, as it goes, I didn't hate it. But it certainly is not on the same level as Halo. I mean, you know. Don't need to say. Don't even need to. Oof. Don't even need to uh, reinforce that fact. But as kind of like a generic sort of, you know, sci-fi shooter so far. Sci, I guess. See you around soon. It's probably Don't worth the quid that I paid for. Two men injured. If you leave them both, they'll both die. So you could save one, but the other would still die. What do you do? You save one, right? Of course. You prioritize. Now you're asking me about something that was not a priority. So no, I wasn't looking. We went there so our men could get their meds. But those rats, those goddamn rats got away with our meds. And we need to settle the score. He's mad. And their time will come. Victor's up! What for dinner? Saying it yesterday. Chick takes an elbow grease. Better <laughs> <laughs> What in the hell? Looks like someone. 
Someone's been throwing grenades on the damn deck. Uh oh. Is somebody gone crazy? Is it our friend that we left behind? Yeah, the writing is dreadful. Okay. So what exactly did happen? I mean, this is just... you got this, like, shitty music playing. Um, the vibe on this uh, carrier or whatever it is is pretty interesting. What? I absolutely... I do not want a piece of your ass. I'm free to say that whoever sent that encrypted signal off the South Beach is about to get a hurt and put on him, biatch. Copy that, bad boy. Motherfucker thinks he's gonna get picked up by the rebels, but he's gonna turn around and find our feet crammed up his ass. Sarge, you better go hook up with your squad. They're gonna need you on this one. I. Wait, so. Whoever went a little bit mental. Escaped? I'm not really sure what what happened there. Skinning camps. Okay, dude. This way. Okay, so straight out for one mission, straight into the next. I mean, hey, anything's possible when you're on Nectar, I guess. He's just rocking out. <laughs> Distress? Why, why are we sending heavy armed squads? We just have to secure the area. That's all we need to know. Who's sending the signal? Remember what I said about prioritizing, buddy. What about it? Do you love anyone? A woman? Your mommy? Parents? Yeah. You hate anyone? Why do you ask? Because everything you feel, all these emotions like love, hate, joy, misery, all of it, they're just a series of chemical compounds and electrical impulses in your brain. Nothing more. So when you fought that bully kid for that girl you liked at high school, or whatever your story, you weren't doing it for some higher purpose. You were doing it because some chemicals were fizzing around your skull. Pretty That's much. It. You're an ape, a monkey, doing whatever those chemicals tell you to do. And once you accept that, you can take control of yourself instead and prioritize. Yes. But you won't be prioritizing based on how you feel about things anymore. You'll be doing it based on how things actually are. If you've got two men dying, save the one with the bigger gun. Not the one you like hanging out with. <coughs> All I'm saying is, when you step off this dropship, keep a grip on reality, buddy. Don't be one of them. Don't be an ape. 
Wait, you just contradicted yourself. We know he's down there, idiot. No, sir. I mean, he's there, right underneath us. I'm jumping down now. That's him. That's Skinko. Chase him down. I'll cut him off with the flag. Right, we're losing some frames now. Alright, so we're not gonna be an ape. We need to keep everything in perspective. And we don't need and we don't wanna lose sight of reality. But we are gonna get heavily drugged up and mine <laughs> and take a load of mind altering chemicals. Cause you know that makes sense. Alright, I had the choice to pick up another weapon there. Ah. The most fun he's had with his pants on, huh? Alright, so we've got a shotgun now. So let's go check out the vehicles. So ride in the buggy. Use the turret mount. Welcome to Oh no. Oh no. The gun on the warthog, that is not. Welcome to Mantel. Okay, how do we get in this thing? There we go. Drive. Welcome to Mantel Nav. Okay, you've said that like six hundred thousand times now. So accelerate, brake, reverse, boost, handbrake. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, actually. Alright, let's see how this puppy handles. It's fine. Apart from the fact that it doesn't like to go around corners. You really have to lean into those corners. Are we going up here? I guess so. Oh, Jesus, that was a stretch. Now, we've got boost. Boost on the X button. We've got... Oh, God. And we have um, a handbrake as well on the circle button, which is fine. And apparently we've gone the wrong way. Whoa. This is fine. Everything... Oh, it's so sluggish. Everything is fine. Come on. Get up. There we go. Now... Where are we going from here? Uh, I mean, I'm assuming we're supposed to be coming up here. Kind of makes sense. There's some more. Wait a minute. How do we get out of here? I'm confused. Admittedly, it doesn't take a huge amount. We can't drive up there. Well, and we've fallen off. Yep. I don't know about this vehicle, guys. I'm sure it'll be fine once I've kind of got used to it a little bit, but... I think what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to leave this game here. We've been playing for nearly an hour. Well, actually, it's not true. Most of it was trying to download and install and set this game up. Um, it's... It's... I don't know. It's just a generic, inoffensive, but not very exciting first-person shooter that has... You know, it's got an interesting setup that I can kind of get behind. I wouldn't mind to see a little bit more of it. Um, I'll probably play through it one day and see what it's like. Maybe we'll record it. Maybe we won't. Um, it just... <sighs> Everything that this game does, I feel, has been done elsewhere better. Like, visually, the, you know, when I first started playing this, I thought this game actually looked quite nice for the for the PS3 sort of generation. But the more I play it, uh, it it's not a very pretty game at all. Uh, the weapons, although I've only f used two of them, technically three if you count the pistol. Um, 
they feel okay, but I couldn't really tell you uh, a difference between the two rifles, apart from one is, is, you know, yellow and one's red. Apart from that, they feel basically exactly the same. The Nectar mechanic isn't kind of as annoying as I thought it was going to be. It seems to work okay. The fact that it, like, highlights enemies and gives you kind of predator vision is kind of cool. The vehicles, though. Oh, that vehicle, that that's rough. The actual shooting mechanics feel fine. The turrets are garbage. They feel horrendous. The music is just generic shit. Um, I, I thought the music was actually going to be pretty good. I thought this game might have like a really good OST because, you know, with corn being involved in it and stuff like that. But no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, yeah, I mean, the enemies, generic bad guys. We're the good, freedom loving, democracy dispensing yellow guys. And, and they're the red guys that skin people and eat their brains. Apparently, um, yeah. I mean, what more to say about it? Did I enjoy my time with it? Yeah, actually, I think I did have fun here. Will I enjoy the whole game though? I don't know. Um, I think the the mechanics of the game are supposed to significantly change once you swap sides, which I still cannot believe they let that out of the bag really early on that's curious but hey that's Hayes this is the game that killed Free Radical it doesn't really feel like you would have thought the way the game controls and the shooting mechanics would have felt very time splittery they don't it certainly feels like its own sort of thing It's kind of a shame to see Free Radical Design go out for this. Yeah, it's certainly not the worst thing I've played. That would still go to The Ring or Clock Tower Ghost Head. But as for shooters go, this it just doesn't stick out, I think, is the main thing. I mean, yeah, you've got the drug mechanic, but apart from that, it's it's very, very generic stuff. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.